Hey, welcome back again to today's video. It's time for me to tell you what I really think. Okay, this is some advice, a little bit slash rant, mostly because I'm working on a big video on a new playlist called Conspiracy. That's right. Cons that's right, Greg. Conspiracy. I, I think it's okay. Anyways, dislikes on YouTube. A lot of people misunderstand what that means. What does it do? Well, I'm go I'm gonna tell you. Dislikes on YouTube are an indication to you that that video is not working. Now, this can be if you get like six, if you get 60, 100 dislikes on your video, uh, or you know, small amount compared, you know, 10% of the dislikes, that's acceptable because there's just people out there that are just they just like disliking things like they wake up in the morning and they're like you know what i feel like doing today i feel like disliking videos this is just what they do but if you find yourself in a situation where you have ten thousand dislikes and only about a thousand likes or three thousand likes ish if the roles are reversed on the ten percentage area there are people that see this i call them clever people clever people that catch on real quick that views on youtube it doesn't matter if people like it or dislike it that's a clever person's mindset a clever person would be like well i've got to continue making this video because it's going to make me a lot of money it's a clever person and probably a person that's making videos for the wrong reasons um but they'll continue to make these horrible videos that get mm, dislikes now an intelligent person would see this and think oh wow gee this video is being received very poorly and it's it's probably something that should change because it's going to hurt my channel in the long run now, that's personally that, may, that could be opinionative that's personally what i think about likes and dislikes on on youtube but i see other youtubers that are completely missing the point and hurting their channel and i don't want to directly come out and say what youtubers i'm talking about but just a couple that i've seen that continuously say things in a manner that yeah maybe it's logical but no one ever no one that ever won an argument with scientific facts that were logically right ever walked away making the other party feel amazing uh what i what that means is if you're in a, an argument and you're in and you, and your argument be, you're, is against your audience and your audience is there for you supporting you and you tell your audience that they're wrong with logical s serious facts that are scientifically backed up you can walk away smiling and maybe you feel superior because you're right but your audience is brokenhearted and let down so who really wins there, there comes a point when you got to be like uh, okay I need to be more kind than clever that's what i think coolest thing ever happened uh they added the join button to my right next to my subscribe so you actually can become a channel member pretty easily we're about 50 strong and you get uh greg's face next to your name in chat as well as live streams and oh man and i can all i can do all kinds of stuff i'm gonna do posts that are directly to the members only and it's very exciting I'm looking forward to that also the next part of the video um the audio the battery ran out of my microphone so the audio is going to be weird now it's perfectly acceptable to experiment around with your playlists like i recently did a playlist called unpopular opinion it has more dislikes on those videos and i guess that's okay because it's a little science experiment on the channel i often do these things and I, I think it's healthy for any content creator to switch up their content. Uh, but yeah, if you're making videos on unpopular opinions, you're gonna get more dislikes. That's, I think that's just how it goes. But um, main thing I wanna uh, reiterate is y your audience, you gotta listen to them. Like, of course you're gonna have people that are do not have your best interest in mind, but if you look at the whole audience and like as a conglomeration of like this the essence of the brand that you have built, then you'll you know that's where your direction comes from for, with your channel. I, I like to say that the Ribsla channel is not even my creation. It's it, 
when I first, I'm a community YouTuber is what I call myself, meaning I listen wholly to the the conglomeration of the Ripzilla fan base. Um, kind of like the, if you was to take everybody and make them one person, and that's kind of what I do. I listen to them, and over the years they have pushed and developed the channel into what it is today. Like when I first started, I was making poppy videos. I don't make those anymore, and it's like the channel was pushed more into a direction of the people. So now we raise awareness on important topics and things like that. And I'm, I'm giving you this an example because I know that you guys are, uh, there's a lot of people out there struggling with uh, content on their channel. And I feel like I have enough experience now to where I know how to grow a channel. I know how to keep the channel perpetuating in a positive motion. And it used to be, this channel for me used to be like, will. When I first started, it's like, oh my god, can I even do this? Will I be able to make it? And now it's like not, I used to be like, would I ever even reach the 100,000 milestone? Now it's not a question of if, if it's possible, it's just when. Because you reach a point on YouTube when you learn your audience, you learn the politics of YouTube. And once you get to that point, you can, it's up to you whether you, uh, how you want that how your channel to develop does that make sense it's like um you have the ability to, like when i first started i wanted to build a positive community and people said to me oh that's not possible it's the internet that's not true you can absolutely build a positive community because i've done it um you have to be careful with the topics that you choose you have to be careful with the way that you present the topics you have to use uh intelligence you have to be smart about it if you're making a video and you say something that polarizes one group or type of people not only is that gonna hurt that polarizing group but there also a lot of people are very empathetic and they're gonna be like well you shouldn't have said that so you have to be you have to Really be careful what you say because the bigger you get on YouTube, the more people pay attention to your words. Uh... Another thing is I'm gonna summarize. Uh, this turned into this. This turned into like a YouTube uh, informational facts video uh, somehow. But this I did this video originally because the vi the video I'm working on now is a conspiracy and it's it's a long one. But Another thing is, is you need to not solely rely, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put all everything on YouTube. And what I mean by that is uh, utilize social media. Uh, I myself, I, I do D Discord and Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Uh, utilize those social medias because uh, if you can build a good, a nice uh, base in things outside of YouTube when you make video you make content you're not solely relying on the notifications and we know how reliable YouTube notifications are so if you if you make a video you have also the community tab on YouTube if you have access to the community tab that's a that's a big one too so you will make a video you'll put you'll post it in uh, Facebook Twitter you know whatever social media that you like and that sends out additional notifications so you're not having to rely on the pretty broken notification system on YouTube so you're giving people more of an opportunity because I know I've had so many members of the community before I had social media that was like I didn't I, they were like I'm so mad I didn't get your notification I wanted to be there uh, notification squads a deal you know and it's I it, think it's important for you to give that to your audience, uh, m uh, other methods, because I know a lot of people look at it with the perspective of, well, I'm not gonna get every single social media because that's, it seems silly. If I can just get one social media and super focus on that, uh, then that's the way to go. But that's not true because it, there are different audiences on different social medias and not everyone uses the same social media. So it's very important to explore and expand into other uh, realms of possibility and never just cut yourself off to the ever changing world of the internet. But 
as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think, so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up, thumbs up, and as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. <sighs> now I got to get back to work on this video. You want to be having notifications turned on. You got, this video is bombshells, and it is about better help. And it is bombshells. So I know that you're ripping. If you're not ripping, you're gagging. <sighs> How do you do that? Be in the comment section to every single video. I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there. And the rest of the Rep Squad community is going to be there as well. And that's just another reason why this channel loves you. The tea is strong.